All right, patch 29.2.2. Let's see how this goes. Hearthstone updates. This patch is a little different than our usual balance patches. It's more about the general design direction of the game than it is about particular power outliers, though we hit a few of those too. Right now, there are a lot of cards that can remove player agency and raise the power level of the game beyond what we want for a four set meta. Amen, bro. Couldn't even tell you there was a standard rotation. We're looking at a variety of these meta defining cards in this patch from OTK style cards to powerful AOE effects that make it feel like your minions don't matter. Okay, great opening paragraph. If I'm a teacher, I'm giving this an A plus at the moment. There will always be cool dreamy cards in Hearthstone. That's part of what makes Hearthstone Hearthstone. What the hell? <laughs> but these types of cards can sometimes be dis wait disproportionately more fun to play with than against this is what card games are this is this is this is what you, you you can't tell me that like it feels good to play cards and it feels good to lose to them like it does just like that's what card anyways we don't want these kinds of cards to make up the most powerful and prevalent archetypes in the game i like that a lot especially if they create meta games where player agency feels low this is a big deal okay this is my number one complaint with hearthstone right now okay so many games feel like you just lose there are a few categories of changes in this patch. The first is cards that can end the game quickly when played and which warped the entire game around whether you get to play them at the right time. No duplicate cards are also a subsection of this. Okay, so Reno is getting changed. Being able to draw your deck to avoid the downside of these cards is an interesting deck construction challenge, but has in large part devolved into turbo draw decks that did they actually write turbo draw <laughs> patch notes? that tend to be less interactive and not in the spirit of these cards. Fair enough. The second category is powerful uncapped board clears. We've made and will continue to make AOE effects, but these particular instances are too efficient at clearing the board, making minion-based strategies feel helpless. The third category is cards that are just a little too strong in their decks and should be toned down a bit. Similarly, our wild cha- Holy moly, wild. Are to some clear wait, uh, wild tears are to some clear power and experience outliers in the mode. Okay. Finally, we're making buffs to a lot of the changes we're making in this patch are to weaken new cards or strategies that came from Wizbang's workshop, but we don't want to just go back to the meta we had before the expansion. So we've identified some underperforming Wizbang workshop archetypes that we think better align with our overall goals for the format and infusing them with a bit more power to give them another chance probably won't be a one and done fix we're going to keep an eye on the game after the changes go live and continue to push towards a game that aligns with our design philosophy okay i'm gonna be real this is a very good opener okay i'm I, they got me they got me i'm very excited to see what we end up actually changing here blizzard let's see what we got reno jackson going from eight mana to nine mana dev comment all the showdown the badlands no duplicate cards are getting a further adjustment to their conditional effect discussed below if your deck if your deck started with no duplicates empty the enemy board and limit it to one space for a turn if your deck started with no duplicates okay so that means this is a pro and con um that means if you you queue up against plague warrior or uh, you go you queue up against plagues that means that reno is still active that means you can't just put reno into any deck it has to start with no duplicates that's like um this is very interesting i guess the nerf to eight to nine man is a pretty big deal but like i i don't like the fact that there's no way to actually interact with highlanders it, it, this is a very hit like it, it, it's i think it's maybe for the best because they want highlander decks to be a thing but this is uh this is very spooky I think there should be a way to interact with a card like this. This is just like, if they draw it, it's still insane. Cause the one mana difference is not that big of a deal for the most part. I hope they change brand or I hope they don't change brand. Cause if brands like this as well, like it's going to be kind of miserable. All right. I mean, this is fine. I guess it's okay. Okay. Zilliax deluxe 3000 virus module old is a one, three stealth elusive poisonous and reborn. New is a 1-4 elusive Poisonous Reborn. Oh, so it no longer has stealth. Good. Fuck this card. And it's buffed to one more. Okay. Remember when all these guys in my chat are like, yo, why are you complaining about Virus Rogue? 
because it's so fun and uninteractive. Oh my God, Raren, why are you complaining? You just removed their Zilliax. It's because it's not fun to play against. Shouldn't be in the spirit of Hearthstone. I'm glad the designers agree with me. Good change here, really good change. Uh, this is a very, this one I'm very hit and miss on, but this is a, this is a fundamental change I can get behind. Gaslight Gatekeeper is going from three to four. So they are nerfing this card particularly because of what? Rogue? So Rogue can't just jam like big giants as fast and it's it's less awkward. It's more awkward to actually get that full combo off. I mean, I'm definitely not against it. But I feel like that's maybe that's not the biggest problem. It's fine. It's it, if, if they're worried that that deck's going to be a big problem. Sure. Snake oil generated by Miracle Salesman and Snake Oil Seller. They're, they're changing it to one mana. That's a very... I'm a big fan of this change. I'm actually a ginormous fan of this change because I think Snake... I think that... I'm glad they didn't nerf Miracle Salesman. I don't think he deserved it. Um, the, the bigger change here is for Nature Shaman and for Sif Mage. Sif Mage gets significantly worse because it no longer has the zero mana burn. And Nature Shaman also gets the same thing. I am a huge, huge fan of this change as well. Stay, I, I'm Again, I, I think Miracle Salesman as a card is completely fine. Like, it sees a lot more play nowadays because there's only four expansions in the pool. And I think as, like, more cards get into the pool, um, the, it won't see as much play. But I, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's kind of funny that Snake Oil is nerfed. Like, if you, if you told me this was going to get nerfed, I would have not believed you ever, right? That's pretty crazy. Good change. Actually, good change. Wheel of Death. No text change, but the wheel counts at the start of your turns instead of the end of your turns. B Huge change. This is this is actually a ginormous change. Uh, because nowadays, when you end your turn after you play Wheel of Death, it's basically four turns for your opponent. Now it's actually five, but most importantly, on the final turn, your opponent gets an additional turn. Because it has to go back to your turn. You can't just end your turn nowadays and they lose. That's a big change. Very, very big change. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily the biggest problem with it. I think because, like, if Reno's getting changed, I don't know if this necessarily had to be nerfed. But if they think this is going to be a very significant issue, I can get behind it, sure. Forge of Wills. From three mana to four mana. God damn. Yo, maybe we should have seen if, okay. I mean, this card is very powerful. And I think if I was them, I would have kept this card, but not, I would have probably maybe left this alone and maybe nerfed this one, but I can understand both these changes. This is a huge, this is, this is so brutal for Warlock. Like three, I, I almost think the best way of doing it was just like give this one durability. Cause like this fucks your curve so much because when you're, when you're playing Warlock, like you're, you want to play a big boy on four. So like now you have to decide between Forge of Wills or the other dude. And I think that's probably what they're doing. But this card's not playable anymore, man. I don't think you're ever playing this. It's so slow now. Hmm. That's tough. All my homies at Blizzard hate Warlock. Now, this is an important change. This this might be overkill, though. Uh, Imprisoned Horror is going from a 5-5 to a 4-4. I don't really see this deck, but I guess maybe in High Legend it's very popular. Um, they probably want to reduce the mana cheating of this card or the, the, the problematic mana cheating of cards. So sure. This is something I get behind. Warlock got caught. Like that's, that's, that, those are some brutal changes. Time winder Zerami. Old battle cry once per game. If you summon five other dragons, take an extra turn. New battle cry once per game. If you summon eight other dragons, take an extra turn. Thank fucking God. I hate this fucking card. This card's, this card's cringe. <laughs> I'm so glad it's at eight. That's such a big deal. Thank God you don't just die on turn six anymore, man. It's a ginormous change. I think this. I think it's probably still very playable, but they're giving you like extra turns to actually react to what this, uh, the time winner is going to do. And I hardly know her. So I, um, I'm a, a ginormous fan of this change. They also could have nerfed the mana costs, but I feel like eight dragons is all. That's a lot of dragons, bro. That's a lot of dragons. I mean, I'm a huge fan. I'm a ginormous fan of this change. I hate this card. I hate the way that it played. I hate the way that you have to interact with the deck. Great change. Okay. Uh, Threads of Despair from one to two. Really? I guess it is very efficient. 
So, okay. I mean, fair enough. If they want to slow the game down, they have to, they have to, if they want to make the, the, the game more about minion combat cards like this probably can't exist at one. So two is fine. Sure. Sickly grime. Dude, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. This card at three mana, two, four was fucking broken. I think this card was so strong. Four new is four mana, three, five. I mean, that is, oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. That means, oh, that's so much slower. Oh, with the, um, what are they called? The gnome boys? I forgot what the card's actually called. That's a huge change. Probably still playable. But again, it's one turn later. This is big. Stream lagging? Oh, no. I'm, wait, wait, wait. Why is it lagging? Oh, it's probably, hold on. I know why. Hold on, hold on. It's probably Steam. Steam's probably downloading. Yo, okay, we're back. We're back. Yeah, we're we're so back. Steam was downloading. I'm sorry. Are we back? Are we back? We're back. We're back. There's no way we're not back. We're back. Okay. Uh, big change. Big, big, big fan of this. Uh, sanitize going from five to six, but when you forge it, you gain four armor instead of three. Hmm. Wow, they're just kind of nerfing everything. I kind of like this. This is this is actually a really big deal. Sanitize is a very powerful card. Six mana is a bigger deal. It slows down warriors, so they can't just remove your board and follow up on it. I'm a huge fan. All right. Big change. Big change. Trials by Fire is going to back to seven mana. I mean, at six mana, the card was disgusting. So huge change as well. Man, they're really slowing the game down. That's both of these changes are ginormous because that means Warrior has a harder time actually dealing with the board. Um, again, huge change. They're really, they're, see the pro people, like people might think that this is like overkill or whatever, but the thing is, if you want Harston to go back to board centric play styles, you need to nerf the cards that stop board centric metas from happening. And that is like really good AOEs. So by nerfing sanitize and trial by fire, the game will be more focused on minions, which is great. Like that means maintaining a board is more important. I love this big change. Boom boss Thorgrun old battle cry shuffle three TNT into your deck when drawn blow up a card the enemy in hand deck and board new shuffle three TNT into your opponent's deck when drawn blow up a card on their deck wait in their deck blow up a card in their hand deck and board Death comet TNT can't blow up other TNT because it's important to note why would they hmm, I mean I'm, I'm intrigued why they changed it I guess the logic behind it is they want it to be able to just be activated on your opponent's turn so that's kind of fun I mean that, that's I don't think that's extremely relevant but sure okay flash of lightning going from two to three I uh, thank thank God thank this is this is this is the best change of the entire patch so far thank God Fuck nature shaman i if if this deck ever exists again i swear to god this should be I, honestly i'd be okay with this going to four mana i hate this card i hate it so much thank god uh big big fan crash of thunder is going from five to six also a huge fan that means that even if you get the crash of thunder you are um you get the flash, flash of lightning you need a one more spell to use it with the crash of thunder for zero mana big fan jungle gym is going from three durability to two You know, I'm not going to lie. I can't imagine. I can't think of a time at least where it mattered for all three durabilities. I mean, it's just, I guess it's, I mean, it's, I, I'm a big fan of it, but I, I don't know if it really matters too much. Hopefully that's okay. Time warp, open the way gates quest reward, take an extra turn, new, take an extra turn once per game. Oh my God. The technology. We had it. Let's go. Wild players rejoice as you no longer have to deal with this fucking card every single game of your life. That's, this is arguably the best change in the patch for wild, right? That's nuts. Holy moly. Floops, glorious gloop. Uh, whenever a minion dies this turn, gain one mana crystal this turn only new. Whenever a minion dies this turn, refresh a mana crystal. 
Okay, this is a big change as well because that means they can't go over their current mana crystals, which, you know, causes Druid to do a lot of stupid shit. Man, both these changes are probably really good for wilds. I I don't know how impactful this card truly is, but this one I can notice it immediately. Snowfall Guardian is going from three mana to five. Um, I'm guessing this is because of Bomb Rogue or whatever you want to call it, Mine Rogue. Dude, these two changes have to be insane for wild, right? Is, wait, is wild back? Wait, wild was on life support. I Do these three changes actually make a huge difference? Because this actually seems insane. Two mana difference for this card? No? Oh. Aggro Hunter kind of untouched. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. This one I'm like a little iffy on because I feel like three durability. Like, it, it, it's, it's good that they nerfed the Hunter deck. But I can't think of a game where all three durability really mattered. So we'll see. Okay. Uh, the following changes are adjusted to be stronger. All showdown in the Badlands, no duplicate cards. Gunslinger, Kurtris, Riastraza, Felderin the Lost, Spirit of the Badlands, Elise Badlands Savior, Doctor Holiday, Deep Miner Brand, and Marut Stone Binder in Lino Lone Ranger. Battle cry effect if your deck has no duplicates when played. Battle cry effect if your deck has no duplicates. As okay. I'm going to be real, chat. I'm going to be very real. I really don't like this change for Bran. I'm going to be completely honest. I absolutely hate this change for Bran. I wish they would they would have left it out. Because the problem with a card like this is you basically, if you're a slow deck and you go against it, you probably just lose. And that shouldn't be in the game. Like you, you, you kind of need a way to counter it. I, I, I am not a fan of this change at all for this. The, the only real like saving grace here is that they nerf trial by fire and sanitize. So like warrior doesn't have as much great efficient removal, but I don't know, man. Like, do we really want this in the game? It's not, that's not great. Tentacles are not a problem anymore. Why do you say tentacles are not a problem anymore? Simply go under them. <laughs> what do you wait? What? Scroll down a bit more. Okay, we'll get to it. Uh, I'm hoping. That, so they, you're saying they nerfed it? They they have to have nerfed it. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Manufacturing error going from six to five. So five, bro. This is Skull of Gul'dan day one. Yo, Blizzard, relax. Jesus Christ. Hey, holy moly, that is, um, if, if Spell Mage is good, th this card single-handedly carries it, no questions asked. That's nuts. That's Skull of Gul'dan. We all know how good Skull of Gul'dan was opening day. They nerfed it in literally 24 hours, so let's see about that. Sunset Volley is going from 10 mana to 9 mana. Okay, so it's a buff for Mage, the nerf for Tentacle decks, right? Because that means currently the only 10 mana card in the game is Table Flip. Huge change actually big win for blizzard here they 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 got in front of this before it was too late uh if this was what you guys were saying for like scroll down a little bit i still think brand's a problem but we'll get to it shortly uh what the hell is this card <laughs> mess of doom the fractured old six mana new five mana i mean i think the bigger problem with this card is just i don't even know what tentacle or elemental you really want to split what like maybe rag Maybe you want to do like the seven mana. I wish it said draw your highest cost elemental. Because when you have drawn elemental, it's so strange. Uh, It's still probably pretty bad. I mean, maybe if you're running like high elemental mage, it's probably okay. But for the most part, sleet skater. I mean, I'd rather just not play a five mana six five and just draw the sleet skater and put a better card in my deck, you know? Like, yeah, like it's not the worst thing, but I, I think there's definitely some better stuff here. Anyways, Woodland Wanders or Wonders. Is this a real card? Summon two one five beetles with taunt cost three less if you have spell damage. New two five beetles with taunt. They're giving it plus one attack. I couldn't even tell you this card existed in, up until this point. Uh, Sure. I don't know how much of a change that really makes, but um, any buffs for Druid is probably good for the game at the moment. Zock Fo Frog Snout, my boy. Wait, his name is Fog Snout. Why do they call him Frog Snout? Excuse me, Blizzard? <laughs> Why do they call him Frog? 
Why are they going frog? What the hell? Um, seven mana to six mana. That's a really big change. That makes hero power druid actually a little bit better. You probably run that card guaranteed. That's that's really funny. Uh, Chia Drake going from two four to a three five. Probably should have been a three five to begin with, but again, good change. Probably for the best. Makes this card just not feel absolute dookie when you want to play. That's ginormous. Hagath of the Fabled going from five mana four 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 mana four three. Insane buff. Actually nuts. The deck that that Leo played against me in that chaotic um. Video is going to be insane. Really, really good card here. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. I like the fact that you can curve it. Uh, I mean, maybe you don't curve it, but now it's a little bit better to like, it doesn't feel as bad to play. All right. Aftershocks. Ult is five mana. Deal one damage to all minions three times. Cost two less if you cast a spell this turn. Or last turn, sorry. New four mana. Deal one damage to all minions three times. Cost one less if you cast a spell last turn. So it's the same card basically, but it's less punishing if you don't cast a spell the previous turn. Okay, sure. I'm not against it. That's okay. Probably not amazing change, but it's fine. Okay. Bot face is going from a three, oh my four twelve. What the fuck? He's going from a three nine to a four twelve. Oh, for Hagatha. Oh, that you know what? That's actually a really five head move. All right, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Good call, Blizzard. I didn't even think about it. That's that's really nice. Okay, 412 through 39. Dude, I think this card is still bad. <laughs> like, I, I think they should have they should have probably changed other cards for Mech Warrior. I don't know if bot face is really what it is. Like, it just feels so bad to play this card. Would it be played as a 420? Ripping bong tokes with bot face, okay, anyways. Uh, probably okay. I mean, if you really want to play bot face, at least he's a little bit buff. Sure, whatever. Tyrannosaurus, um, going from a seven six with rush death rattle deal five damage to a random enemy. New seven seven rush death rattle deal seven damage to a random enemy. Probably still unplayable. I don't know what the point of this is. Um, maybe you want to play it in something, but I mean, who gives a fuck? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> guys we need to buff more cards there's not enough okay what if we buff it by one dr seven yeah i would have buffed it to six mana i think i think it would have been okay i mean it's a little bit spooky at six mana so maybe this is better yeah we'll see i'm the problem with this text right here is just it could just be so bad you know okay shop <laughs> five mana oh no i mean maybe rogue's got a pirate deck like six mana is so bad for this card five mana at least i can maybe get behind a little bit more it's one turn faster that's a big deal probably still garbage unfortunately the pro you just need so much for this card to be good and yeah that's probably just never gonna be good oh my god holy the deranged takes of raren Buddy, I have been 100% real here with everything I've said. What's been, what's been my bad take? What's my bad take, Mr. Zed? <laughs> uh, the Crystal Cove. The next minion you summon this turn has its stats set to 4-4. Four, four. The next minion you summon this turn has its stats set to 5-5. Five, five. Okay, I mean, I mean, maybe we could. That's kind of not bad. I still think it's not great, but I mean, now it's a little bit more considerable. That's the, that's literally the, it's so funny. It's actually the quest. You, you might actually play this now. We're back. We're so back. Cause that's okay. So the real strategy here now is you have the weapon, you play gold beard. You have the, you have the look, think about how many steps this is, by the way, you have the location on board and then you play, you, you cue this, you summon the pirate, which gets summoned also by gold beard and you're popping off. That's, ba that's basically what it is. All right, um, crane game going from nine mana to eight mana. That's probably for the best. Warlock probably needed that. Fly off the shelf is going from a four mana to a three mana. So they're trying to make Dragon Priest an actual like controller deck, not just like jam dragons on the board and win the game, which I think Zarimi change already did that. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're kind of reinforcing it. That's kind of nice. Big fan, big fan. Papercraft Angel going from a three mana two five to a two mana two three. 
Um, I still think this this needs more support in our. I don't know what this really does. I guess you can curve it a little bit more. So like now you can go for the uh, the clergy boy into this and then hero power. So that's that's not bad. How's it a buff, dude? I, I mean, I don't give a f if I'm playing this card. I don't care for the stat line. I feel like a lot of you guys really underestimate how big of a deal from going from three mana to two mana is. Like that's ginormous, dude. That's a huge change. And it's at the cost of stats. Yeah, I would rather have a two mana two three than a three mana two five every day of the goddamn week, bro. Every day of the week. And I feel like the thought process is you play clergy on one into this, and then you have a two three and you draw an additional card from the clergy because you heal it. I just don't know what deck you really want this and I think that's the problem with this card right now but maybe in the future it's not bad treasure tre oh my god sorry treasure distributor after you summon a pirate give a plus one attack new after you summon a pirate give it in this minion plus one attack oh huh? yo put that back yo put that I don't like that <laughs> spooky as fuck bro Mm. that reminds me of what's that card from what's that card from mean streets remember that guy what the fuck was his name booty um God, i can't remember his name i uh, you guys know which one i'm talking about the one that got buffed when you play another pirate or was it when you had a weapon i think it was maybe the one i can't remember his name um I mean, this is a pretty spooky card. Small time Buccaneer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, okay, maybe not in standard, but like in wild, I feel like pirate decks are about to pop off. No, like I feel like that's giant. I feel like that's ginormous. Like wild, wild likes it. If you're a pirate enjoyer in wild, like you're you're loving this. I don't know about standard, but this is a, I mean, it's a must kill card. You have to kill that card on site. Like that's, that's the scariest card I've ever seen. Split differs whiz bang. All whiz bang experimental decks, except for demon hunter warlock mage have been adjusted to be more splendiferous. So demon hunter was the wish one. Man, I feel like they should have changed the demon hunter one because they got nerfed with the weapon change. Warlocks is goaded. Mage is fine. I guess they can keep it. So we don't know what the deck lists are. Is that does that mean I have to play this today? Is that what I'm playing for? Like, what what do they change about it? Can I see a deck list? Maybe where's the deck list, boys? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, uh, battlegrounds. Do any of you guys care about battlegrounds? Big changes coming up. Uh, all these are battleground changes. Okay, well that's that's basically it, man. I mean, overall, I think it's a pretty good patch because like I'm I'm a bit like honestly, I wish they would do patches like this a lot more often because I'm a huge fan of just drastically changing the game. I, I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm going to be I'm going to say it. I'm going to I'm going to very much say it. I am very much worried for deep minor brand. Like, I, I feel like this was not enough. Like, I am I'm genuinely worried for this card because if the game slows down, that means warrior has more time. And if warrior has more time and you're able to play brand without any repercussions because you can't counter it like it's not fun to play against so i i'm i'm genuinely worried for it i, I feel like if their whole concept was to stop the the game feel like they don't have any more agency when you play against certain cards like this this is a card they should have touched so i mean I, i'm for the rest of them because like i i don't think like kurtris needed help reassures assured hasn't seen any play but i i don't know man like I, this this card is a fundamental card. Like once it's played, the game has changed forever. It's just like a quest line from Stormwind. So, and Plague, d dude, honestly, Death Knight's kind of cooked, no? Oh, God. Like, what does Death Knight do now, man? They're just dead. Rainbow's still good? I guess that's fair. Baron, Brand got nerfed with the stuff that matters. So Brand's not powerful, but not broken. I... I had I didn't say anything about how powerful the card is. I just think it shouldn't be existing. Because the thing is, if you are, it doesn't matter what your the matchup is. It doesn't matter what the win rate is. If you are a slow deck and you queue into Highlander Warrior, and they play Brand, you you probably just lost the. Game. There's nothing you can do to stop it. That you probably just lost the game. It's not like a it's not like a it's not a win rate thing. It is just a 
um a feeling of agency against the deck if you're something that doesn't just roll them which is i if their whole concept was to just stop is to make players feel like they have more agency like they should have done something I, i'm probably a little bit overreacting but realistically dude like if your plan was to where do they say it um we don't want these kind of cards to make up the most powerful and prevalent archetypes in the game. I mean, did they really hit warrior enough to the fact that like, it's going to feel bad? Like, yeah, these changes matter, but I mean, warrior's still probably really good. And then you have, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I, me personally, I would have done something a little bit different. Like I would have been okay nerfing it a little bit more just so that I don't have to worry about playing against the quest line every single day. But I mean, that's just me. Uh, but overall, like big, big fan. I, and again, I hope, I hope they do more patches like this. I hope this is a success. I hope you guys like it. Hearthstone Doomer. No, it's just, dude, I have played this game. I have played this game for 10 years, dude. And every time there's a card like this in the game, it absolutely just polarizes the game. Like it, it happened with the quest rogue from Ungoro. It happened with basically for decks from United and Stormwind. This is the same concept, but now you can't interact with it. Unless you like dirty rat it. So I don't know. Also, Hunter's gonna be really good. Hunter's gonna be good. And then I hope that Shaman's nerfed enough where I'm not gonna cry myself to sleep. Or overall, it's probably fun. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this patch? Do you think it's good enough? Warrior is probably the best deck since no, no counter. Goldbeard can now OTK the opponent 35 damage to face, and you can afford to play two copies turn eight at the earliest. So, like, is this a good patch or not? <laughs> like, are, are, are we happy with this patch? I mean, again, even if, I, I I really hope, even if this patch, like, doesn't go exactly with what they wanted, it like, what their goal was. Like, please keep doing patches like this. Please don't just be like, this one sucks, so we're not going to continue doing this. We, I want more like this. I want, I want like, big boy changes every once in a while. This is nice. Because at least the worst case scenario, at least the game's going to feel like a little bit different. I don't need these baby patches. What have we been getting? I want the sunset buff reversed. I love tendies. I mean, who doesn't love tendies? You know? You know where I am? Anyways.